Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Watchtower Examination. This is going to be a short video. I just have a few questions for a gentleman by the name of Kenneth Cook. This is the information age where you can research practically anything you want. And because Kenneth Cook is now a man of, you know, some esteem, being a leader of this worldwide organization of 8 million witnesses or so they say so they say i could easily do some research to find some information about his his life but i did not i want to ask some questions of kenneth cook and i know he probably is not watching but i want jehovah's witnesses to ponder these questions for kenneth Cook. When did he become a Jehovah's Witness? Was it all his life? Was it since his teenage years? Was it since his adult years? How long, for how long did Kenneth Cook know that in 1919 Jesus appointed the faithful and discreet slave? How long did he know that? So, if Jesus appointed the faithful and discreet slave in 1919, and the faithful and discreet slave is the governing body, and he was not until very recent years a member of the governing body, so he was not a part of the faithful and discreet slave. How did he qualify to become a member of the faithful and discreet slave that Jesus appointed in 1919? When did someone tell Kenneth Cook that the faithful and discreet slave was given authority to appoint the faithful and discreet slave? Did it ever occur to Kenneth Cook that for him to join this body that there would be some questions? How did he become? Because I'm not even going to ask the question about all the others. I'm going to ask it of the last one, the last one to join the body. Do you, sir, consider yourself a part of the faithful and discreet slave that Jesus appointed in 1919? Did Jesus appoint one slave or a body of slaves? Did Jesus ever ask, who is the body? What is wrong with you men? Do you really believe what you are teaching people? Or do you just love? the prestige you know in jamaica we would say Coop on youtube or your faithful and discreet slave old puppy show you know i don't know how to explain that one to you it means look at him look at him look at you talking about your faithful slave you're a clown and since i suspect that kenneth will never re watch this video but since but i suspect that some jehovah's witnesses will I want you as Jehovah's Witnesses to ponder that. When will you see that this faithful and discreet slave thingy, <laughs> as young people say, does not add up? How is it that you can understand a composite slave? I've asked this question many times before, but I'll ask it again. Why is it that Eight men being one slave makes all the sense in the world to you. But three persons being God cannot possibly 
make any sense whatsoever. I am not here to defend the Trinity today. I'm not here to preach Trinity today. I want you to think about this crazy doctrine of the faithful and discreet slave, especially when you think about Kenneth Cook, who was just added to the body that Jesus appointed in 1919. And can you find anything in your literature about the succession of faithful and discreet slave? When you find it, share with me, please. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to press that like button. I invite you to subscribe to the channel. I'm also inviting you to subscribe to my other channel, Things Jamaican, that will help to keep this channel going. The links are in the description below. Thanks again. Do come again. Have yourself a wonderful day. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.